In this video, we're going to talk about Factory Talk Site Edition and getting your alarms working with your shortcuts. So when you talk about your shortcuts and you think about uh, what you see currently down here, it says subscribe to uh, my alarms and events. So if I'm trying to get my alarms working and let's just say you don't have this tab and I'll show you exactly um, how to actually get that. So if you go up here to uh, your data server, if you have an area or if you just have your communications path, uh, meaning if you just have your uh, factory talk links or RS link server uh, to get your shortcuts in there, just know that wherever your shortcuts are, just open up that tab, go to properties. And then in properties, what you're going to do is you're going to navigate over to alarms and events. Now, this is where you're going to check the box. I'm going to actually uncheck the box to show you what it looks like when I open my shortcuts with no box checked for enable alarms and event support. So if I, if I apply that, and then I come back in here and I open up my communication setup for my, uh, again, my shortcuts for my uh, PLC shortcuts for my HMI. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open this up and, sh and actually show what it shows. All right, so right now for my batching, for my topic right here, it's pointed to the correct thing, but it's currently not subscribed to any alarms and events that I have in my system, meaning all of my files like all of my uh, files, my AMDs, let's pull this up. You can actually see in my alarm program, um, I have AMDs. So this is what my AMDs right here. I would be subscribed to none of these, right? None of these would be populated or actually working. In this instance right here, you see it would be pointed to uh, text uh, seven, which is my tag right here. And that would be how my communication works through my PLC to my HMI system. Again, we have plenty of videos on how to do that, but what I'm um, actually gonna show is right here, if you don't actually have this, you're trying to set up your, your HMI uh, shortcuts and you're trying to get all that working, but you, at that same time, you notice that you cannot subscribe to alarms and events. What you need to do, and you, and you actually want to, what you currently need to do is just close it out, open up again where your shortcut location is if it's factory talk links or rs links classic depending upon which version you're running that's what you're going to be using right click your communications right here which is either again factory talk links or rs links classic or i'm sorry factory talk links or rs links enterprise um, because those versions are, are are different when it comes to ft view 10 and above it's going to be factory talk links when it comes to um uh, factory salt nine and below i believe it's it's uh rs links enterprise so uh, again open that up go to properties when you go to properties go to alarms and events enable the box go ahead so set your uh, severities if you're using severities go ahead and have those um i use severities when i'm doing my almds uh or when i'm doing any kind of setup like that um, so if you are using that make sure that's that box is checked as well click apply go over here open up your communication setup again when you open up your communication setup at this point now you should see the ability to subscribe to your alarms and events so you see I have my uh, shortcut right here which for again communication to my PLC program I have that set up but now I have this tab down here that says alarms and events and I can choose whether or not I want to subscribe or not to subscribe to that that particular PLC shortcut. If I didn't want to subscribe to it, I would choose none. If I do want to sub subscribe to it, I would choose all alarms and events. Now again, uh, depending upon what version you're running, uh, Factory Talk, this is currently Factory Talk 12. You could be using a different version of Factory Talk. You're still going to have the same implementation. The box will disappear or appear. If you do have it, that box checked for using alarms and event support. So keep that in mind. Uh, again, I just want to make a short little video to actually help those that are trying to get that working, right? So if you're trying to get that working, you, you, you're like, Hey, I can't, I can't get my alarms and events to work. And how do I even see the box? Cause I, in all the videos that I've watched or all, the, all the, the times that I've seen people do it, they have that box already there. Uh, that on their you know their shortcuts well I mean it's just opening up the properties checking the box 
and then when you check the box open up your shortcuts and then the the actual enable or the ability to see that particular box would be there so again let's pull, pull up our communication setup and show that one more time you see the alarms and events you see that right here all that's working i could have the choice to see or not see or only notify message again that specific comment um, is depends on what version you're running i'm running factory talk 12 so again things are progressing just like software does it progresses and gets better so um, as it goes down to it though if you're running something lower than factory talk 12 you're still going to have that ability to uncheck and check this box so that you can either a see the alarms and events tab down here or not see it so just in case you wanted to know where that was and how to enable that if you were having that problem uh, again there is a quick reference on how to do that so again hopefully that was helpful and we'll see you guys on the next one